Hello and welcome back to Boom Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of a kit from Trying Tools. Trying Tools in the US. It's a pass-through crimper. Uh, it's, pass through means the wires go through. It's a pass through crimper for uh, RJ45. It also crimps uh, uh, RJ11 and RJ12 as well. And this kit comes with 50 pass through uh, pl plugs. So uh, it's much, it's very good value for money. So uh, it just comes in a simple, uh, a simple uh, bag like this. That's the way it came. And inside is the two items. There we are, we have 50 pieces of pass-through data uh, plugs and we have, uh, we have the crimper itself, the pass-through crimper. This is, uh, this is uh, made by Klein Tools and Klein Tools, I have a lot of Klein Tools now, they, uh, they've been around for over a hundred years and uh, th this item here now I'm going to use for the first time. I have normal crimpers before. Uh, uh, they, it, this one works fine, but they're slow and they they ha, they they do have quite an, uh, a lot of failures because uh, sometimes uh, you get not the wire in the wi the wire can go in wrong and then you have to take it out again. But with pass through, you can see all the wires nice and clearly on the on the end of the plug, and then it cuts it off automatically. So I'm, I'm going to use this, I'm going to demonstrate this to you. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, going to do, uh, I'm going to do that, the cable on it, uh, which has eight wires, uh, twisted pairs, and I will show you how to, how to do it. Uh, I will cu cut it open first. So uh, this is the crimper. It is nice and compact. It's more compact than, than the, the, the normal crimper that you have. Uh, it feels nice, the plastic feels nice. Uh, you can see here in the beginning it has the wiring here, right? It's showing the wiring. Now I'm going to, it's showing the wiring on this side also, right? Uh, it's going on this side, it's in one, two, three. Now, so T568, T568A or B. B is the normal one that data people do in computers for patch cables. And I always use B. I made a video years ago uh, and I done B as well on it. So you can print out B, but it's on this here as well. Uh, if you need to wear reading glasses, it's fine. I wear reading glasses, but I can see this without reading glasses. On this side, they also, they have the uh, R11, right? The R11 is can be wired different ways. If you have a, t a telephone system, then you will have more. For a normal, uh, for a normal, uh, for a normal telephone, you only have two wires, right? When you're crimping, always remember the pins are up and that's how you count it. And you count from left to right when the pins are up and pin number one. Now on this, it's the other way around, but you can have it show it this way if you like. But on this side, we have it the way you want it. We have the one on the right and the one on the, on the left. So it will be uh, orange, uh, half, I call it half and then full. So I call it half orange, full orange, right? Half orange is orange and white. You can call it what you like in your own head, but I've been doing these for years and that's what I always do. Now, what happens with this one is there is a blade here on the end that cuts the wire off. I will show you in one moment. It has a cutter and a stripper. Now, when you're doing pass through, you can make the wires a little bit longer or a, a good bit longer, but trim them off before you put them into the plug. Just trim them off so that they're all the same length. I will show you in one moment. But uh, if you want to cut this cable now, we will just cut it here. Uh, these uh, plugs sometimes when they're outdoors, they need to be replaced. So like that cut without even effort. Mm. If you want to hold this in, you turn this one here. like that, and then it undoes itself. So I'm going to cut off the two ends of this first. This is not such good wire. And uh, we are going to crimp. I'm going to do some crimp. 
uh, twist it around like this and it should cut into the wire but not cut uh, the other wires and then you start doing your twisted pairs you untangle all your twisted pairs first that's what I always do anyway and the two oranges are actually go together in the very beginning so that's very easy to keep them to one side like that okay what I do then is I trim these right I trim them off a little bit so that they're all the same length when they're going in and then you just push it in and your wires will come out in the other end now Two of them will not go into one channel, so if you're doing this for the first time, you don't need to worry about that. You push them in the whole way, you double check them before crimping. Pull the crimper up this way, and you put this in here. Make sure you go in all the way, and then you just crimp, like that. And then take it out. And then you can check again, you can see the colors of the wires, not really that well. And there's your nice crimping joint and you have your, you have your rubber uh, sleeve in there as well. Some people prefer to leave them a bit longer than, than I did with the last one. So they're all the same length. Double check again. And you push them through like before. And double check them. Solid blue, half blue. And make sure the sleeve has gone in again. So this is my first time using this. As I said, I used the other one all the time before. And uh, we will check it to see is it good. So that's good. And as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that came out well. So that's my uh, review of uh, the crimper uh, set with the 50 plugs that come with it, or J45 plugs. And uh, yes, uh, they, it's, it's, it's much better value when you buy it for, as a kit like this rather than buy this one and this one separately, right? Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video or have any other videos, uh, please consider subscribing. I will put a link in the bottom where you can buy this kit.